Hey guys, my name is Joe Chorney and today I'll be doing a representational analysis regarding the movie 42. In this video, I'll be discussing how race is represented within the movie. The movie 42 is a sports biography film on American legend Jackie Robinson. The film illustrates all the obstacles Jackie has to overcome while being the first black athlete to play Major League Baseball during the late 1940s. Throughout the course of his first season, Jackie receives threats of violence against his family and himself taunting from opposing players, fans and coaches, and even hatred and disbelief from his, own, and from his own teammates, all due to his race and minority status. In representational analysis, the viewer analyzes the messages you receive through media production. In this video, I'll be, doing, I'll be decoding particular scenes throughout the movie and interpreting the meaning of them on their relation to racism. I'll be looking at different signs that certain images and scenes carry so I can understand how the science represent certain concepts and conceptual ideas. The first scene I want to analyze is where Jackie Robinson is receiving racist slurs from the opposing team's coach. The Philadelphia Phillies manager, Ben Chapman, repeatedly says the N-word and even calls Jackie a porch monkey. With regards to decoding the scene, according to dictionary.com, the word porch monkey is a racist slur saying black people are lazy and hang around their porch all day. The director of this film, Brian Heglin, wants to show the audience how Jackie was represented in Major League Baseball by opposing coaches. This scene was from real life and actually happened to Jackie by the Philadelphia Phillies manager. Jackie even says in an interview after the movie was released in 2013, I think the Philadelphia Phillies with Ben Chapman was perhaps the most vicious of any of the people in terms of name calling, end quote. The worst part is that there were other teams who followed suit and yelled at Jackie and said racist slurs to him, all because of his race and minority status. Another scene I want to analyze from the movie is when Jackie is about to take the field in a baseball game against the Cincinnati Reds. In this scene, the opposing team fans are booing Jackie, calling him the N-word, and telling him to go home, and he is not welcome here. When we decode this scene, we can infer the director wants to show the audience that the fans do not want to see a black player playing baseball. The fans see Jackie as a less superior race and do not deserve to play in the same league as white baseball players. In addition, a little kid in the scene hears his dad call Jackie the N-word and then proceeds to call Jackie the N-word too after. This shows how even children saw black people as a less superior race in regards to sports during the late 1940s because of their race and minority status in society back then. It is through these struggles that Jackie is able to persevere and be looked at as a role model during the civil rights movement during the late 1940s. In 1997, Major League Baseball retired Jackie Robinson's number 42 from every team to pay honor and respect to Jackie being the first black athlete to play in Major League Baseball. In addition, players of all races wear his number 42 on Jackie Robinson Day in April.